earthquake of the last day without question was offshore in California. It was indeed four times stronger than the second most powerful quake yesterday. Eyes open for more here and we'll also note the surge of four shocks in Oceania, including a number of blot echoes. And we also had a blot echo in Romania yesterday, so the atmospheric signal taking on the south of that in the coming hours will also be catching our attention. By the way, our blot echo wind map is on the Prediction Center at QuakeWatch.net. Folks, for some reason, this debunker makes people more angry than most, but alas, the P-shaped screw pattern reflection anomaly is back on stereo again. I just want to repeat what I said in 2016, so I guess we'll go back to that morning news from over three years ago. So folks, we've gone most of the year without having to debunk silly satellite fears, but we knew it wouldn't last forever. Over the last month, the net has been clamoring about this artifact seen on stereo A, HI2. Well folks, every time bright Venus gets in the frame at that angle, it reflects off a piece of the telescope and makes that shape. This is the first occurrence back in 2007, and it has happened a couple times since then. If you actually look at the PDF of the scope design, you can look down and see the piece shaped exactly like that. As we come back to today, I will take a moment to remind everyone that all of these satellite images go through DOD, DHS, Lockheed, and NASA before they get to us, so something like an alien spaceship ain't getting through on here. Folks, there are plenty of lies, dangers, conspiracies. We've got 99 problems, but this glitch ain't one. We're on to the ubiquity of magnetic reconnection and flux transfer events, and we must, of course, recall Alphane's...